if you want to lay down on the floor, be my guest. Because some of you are going to wind up there anyway. <laughs> Pat and I may wander around and uh, lay hands on you. And um, so if somebody touches you, don't freak out. Well, Father, we take authority over um, anything left over uh, hanging around in this room that wants to insert itself, inject itself, or otherwise um, mess with what's going on. Father, we, um, we just kick to the curb anything that will not bow its knee to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have no place here. We give you none. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Come and minister to those that you love. We submit to you. We give you place. And we thank you so much for what you have done for us, for what you've provided us, and what you've shown us. Father, in Jesus' name, I take authority over this time, this space, this place, this dimension in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, I ask you to disconnect every one of them from every second heaven entity that's gained access to them for the purpose of inflicting torment and trauma. I specifically ask you to disconnect them from fear, chaos, death, destruction. Anything that has a bound or blocked development Just disconnect them right now, Father, in Jesus' name. And Father, I ask you to disconnect them from um, all of the schemes and contracts and agreements that demonic entities have made with each other. To torment and torture. Disconnect them, Lord. Father, I take authority over every body in this place, in Jesus' name, for a few minutes. And I command their bodies to release all of the effects of trauma. Everything that it is held on to, down to the cellular level, for accidents, injury, medical procedures, surgeries, invasive medical procedures, broken bones, cuts. But I also command their bodies to release all of the, the effects of trauma with respect to rejection, abandonment, death, Divorce, loss of dreams, hopes, aspirations. Every time that they were robbed, stolen from. And you'll come out without harm or injury. I just command you to release it all. Don't hang on to any of it. All of the pent up stress, intention, anxiety, worry, results of fear. I command your bodies to release all of the fear of the future. How is this going to work out? 
what's going to happen. All of the issues regarding health, business, children, spouses. Let's command all of that out of your body. You can't hang on to any of it in Jesus' name. Out of every bone, out of every piece of connective tissue, out of spines and muscle, hair, teeth, you name it, come out in Jesus' name. I command your bodies to release even all of the memories of aching loneliness. A feeling that you were all alone and helpless. Just be released right now in Jesus' name. Let it go. Wherever you have hidden it, wherever you have allowed it to store up in your body, just let it go. Let it be released. In this season of of economic uncertainty, let's command your bodies to release all of the stress and the tension of how it's going to work out. The plans that have been so diligently made that seem to have been undermined. Just release, release, release. Just let it all go. All of the effects of unforgiveness, bitterness, of being cut off and abandoned, just let it go. Just release all of the effects of shame, disappointment, disillusionment. Everywhere where people have not lived up to their word. In fact, have done the exact opposite. Every time when you've been called a name, been lied against, lied about, dishonored. Just let it all go. Release it. All of the physical effects, whether it was emotional, spiritual, or physical, just release it all now in Jesus' name. Every bit of it, just let it go. I command out of your nostrils and taste buds everything connected with defiling touch, any place in your body that felt it or was impacted by it, just let it go. I just command it to be released right now in Jesus' name. I take authority right now in Jesus' name over all witchcraft prayers that have prayed, been prayed against you, against the body of Christ, against your relationships, against your place in the body, even those who have been jealous of you for how you looked, how you acted, the favor you had. Let's cut that all off right now in Jesus' name. I release you from every bit of it. 
Father, we just call every one of those null and void and we cast them to the ground of no effect as dust under their feet. Father, we release them from all tension and anxiety and anything else that it's imparted to them. And Father, we just we break all that off. Father, we just even remove from them all of the heaviness of um, false responsibility. The stuff that people have told them that needs to be done and they need to do it. I just release them from all of that in Jesus' name. I release them from their expectations of what you ought to look like, how you ought to do it, and how it ought to get done. Father, if there's any portion of them that's been removed, stuck, imprisoned, held captive in any other time, space, place, or dimension as a result of the trauma that they've experienced, I ask you, Father, in Jesus' name, that you would release them. Cause them to be recovered from wherever that has been. And I ask you to restore it to them. Cleanse it of any defilement of any place that it's been. Cancel the assignment of any familiar spirit that's been assigned to it to hold it there. Father, if there's any portion of them that they have dismissed themselves because they believe that it wasn't acceptable, was not worthy, cause them to be um, vulnerable, or felt like it allowed them to be taken advantage of. Father, I, in Jesus' name, pronounce them forgiven for dismissing that portion of them that they did not agree was good. And I ask you, Father, to restore it to them. Reunify it so that it becomes part of them in this time, this space, this place, this dimension. And Father, where there have been blockages to uh, development in any area, particularly relationally, Father, I ask you to remove those dams. Allow them to grow. Father, I place my hand on every head and I pray for their brains. Father, any place that has um, become chemically imbalanced because of the trauma that they've suffered, I ask you, Father, to restore whatever connections are necessary, whatever enzymes are necessary to bring full functionality are there any pathways that need to be reestablished between hemispheres of the brain or areas of the brain where the fullness of who you created them to be can be directed toward the issues of life? Father, I ask you to restore it. If there is any deficiency in any gland of the brain, I ask you to restore it. And restore connectivity between areas of the brain. Father, specifically for those areas um, like the, the amygdala. Father, I ask you in Jesus' name that you would give them a new pattern. And while we're at it, Lord, I ask you to um, move all of the memories of traumatic and tormenting events at the back of the bus. Make them difficult to get. And Lord, all of those memories that speak to them of being loved and appreciated and understood, connected, 
would be long. Father, I ask you to move them to a place that they can be the first ones that they get to. And Father, I ask you in Jesus' name that you would restore whatever memories are necessary for healing and the completion of what you said you started. For those who have been uh, horribly abused, I want to speak to your spirits and to your soul. And I declare to you that those times are over. You do not have to remain on guard 24-7. The other shoe is not going to drop. You're safe now. You're no longer a little child. <clears throat> you can let down your guard. You can enter into the rest of the Lord. He has become your rear guard. He is with you 24-7. So I invite you to stand down, to enter that place of rest that was designed for you. Father, I ask you in Jesus' name to reestablish for each one of these here the sleep patterns that you designed for them. So that, Father, when they put their head on the pillow at night, they can do so with confidence. That they'll not be awakened over and over with tormenting dreams. That the disconnection from the enemy even will allow them to sleep peacefully not reminded of where they've been rejected, abandoned, where they're helpless, hopeless. But Father, that they know that when they arise in the morning, their body will be rejuvenated, restored, and they'll have all of the energy that they need for the coming day. And Father, while you're at it, I ask you in Jesus' name that you would download to their spirits everything that they need for that coming day because you know who they're going to run into, you know the circumstances that they're going to be facing. Father, I ask you in Jesus' name that during that night season that you will cause them to be prepared for everything that's coming. And now, Father, we ask that you will pour your spirit into every place where trauma has left. The spirit of life and light and truth will fill every cell, every bone, every tissue, every organ, every place where memories are stored, that you will fill it with your truth. that you will restore broken places, that you will remove the bruises, spirit of truth, spirit of life, spirit of God, come and fill and renew the life that is within them. We invite you to come, Spirit, and to bring back to life the dead places, the places that have been given up on, have been set aside, ignored, the places where lies have been believed. Spirit, come. We call for a restoration and a redemptive work within each person 
at a level they cannot cognitively get to. We thank you. We thank you, Spirit. It's your job. We thank you for filling. We thank you for renewing. We thank you for refreshing. We thank you for loving. We thank you for defeating the enemy on our behalf. We thank you for taking all of the effects of trauma on the cross. And in the name of Jesus, we yield that to you now. The effects of living in a fallen world, we release to you. The effects of stress, of the busyness of life, we just release it to you. The burdens of ministering to broken people, we release it to you. The pressure, the stress, of family members who have who are ill and the broken heart that brings us, we release it to you. And then, Father, we release generational trauma, trauma that has been passed down through the family line that caused the recurrence of trauma. We release it in Jesus' name and we speak forgiveness over it. And we stand as sons and daughters of the living God to declare dominion over the works of the enemy in ourselves first, in our family, in this body, in this town, in this nation, and in this world. We declare, we declare he is defeated and you, Father God, are the victor. Father, we bless each individual here. We bless their identity. We bless their future. We bless their destiny. We bless their dreams. We bless them. They're coming and they're going. We bless them in the name of Jesus. Amen.